guys, this is Wences from Below Radar right Above the System and I want to talk to you about um, but having a bad conscience for things we do and having it to such an extreme uh, that it's unhealthy. Like I had this common question, I don't remember if it was on an idea pool or on YouTube, but um, about like being, you know, breaking somebody else's stuff, like it was a coffee maker I think, and then feeling so bad about it and, and having such such a bad conscience and not knowing uh, how to how to react in this situation because it feels so bad and this is a very common uh, thing that has happened and it's not just a, an INFJ thing like I have this ISFJ uh, no ISFP friend and she's been with um, she's been with an ENF in my opinion an ENFJ for a while and uh, is she she she's a typical enabler and in a lot of ways like this and um, he on the other hand if, you know ENFJs if they're not careful um, if they're unhealthy they tend to be have narcissistic tendencies as INFJs if they're not healthy tend to have codependent tendencies um, and this is not just saying oh um, you know. ENFJs are bad or narcissist and you know you get, you as a codependent person can still be cause a lot of drama and pain to others once you like really flip and break out and it's you know but there's no judgment in that um, the more the even more because this is you know I'm talking about extremes and and tendencies and so on but so and she is an ISFP she also and she she tends to to have like similar codependent issues um, and we had this conversation and like I talked to her every other week and I realized how with time she comes becomes more and more apologetic the more and more understanding and I you know I'm pretty sure nobody ever noticed it like I noticed but I noticed that this is getting more like she when she asked me for a favor and I do it for her she becomes extra thankful and when I um, you know when I cancel something she's extra understanding and so on and she also feels extra bad if she like has to cancel a meeting or you know we said we're gonna meet so I think this is exactly what this topic is about that we kind of put others um, feeling so much in front of us how they're gonna feel that you know we feel so horrible about it like I've been there I've done that it's it's a typical um, circle and we need to stop it. The main reason for this is because you do place more importance on other people's um, feelings and emotional states and whatever, uh, how they feel, who they are, what they deserve um, than your own. Uh, first off, you should be the master of your life, the leading person in your life. If, you, if your life is a movie and you tell a story, you should have the leading role, always. Not, not your boyfriend, not your girlfriend, not your child, not your parents, nothing. You. And only when you're like the main character in your movie, you can help other people be the main character in their movie. Because this is how it's supposed to be. You're not asking to be the main character in other people's movies, just in yours. And I, this has helped me to kind of get a, a sense of this. But in the beginning, once you're in this state where you do something and other people feel you know, make you feel bad, especially if that other person tends to intensify their own emotions, like let's say, you know, if this ENFJ in, in this example, um, which is, you know, not more his fault than her fault or anything, I'm just saying um, it's not healthy and it's not, um, it's not fun for neither of them. Like, don't think somebody who like presses more importance on their own emotions is happier than somebody who presses more, um, more um, importance on others' emotions. The person who intensifies their own emotions, they also suffer a lot. It's not like they really feel that in that moment. They feel like everybody hates me. The world is you know against me, and so on. This isn't, you know, there's nothing that's better than the other. But what we have to learn is to have like an equal thing. So, um, and especially when you have situations like this, it's much easier for, um, for irrational types because they are more able to change their approach. Like it's more difficult for like an ISFP who has like 
uh, you know, an introverted feeling, which is a judging function, or, you know, an extroverted judging function, people to make that switch. It's really easier for INFJs, for example, ESTPs, and so on. Um, so what you have to do is when you have in situations where you really catch yourself that you feel so bad about like a little thing you did and if somebody from the outside like you're ashamed to tell people what you're going through and what you're doing because you know everybody would tell you how crazy you are. This is what I had done. I had not told anybody what kind of relationships I was in friendship wise, romantic wise and so on that were representing exactly that that I was catering to their every need to such a such a degree like <clears throat> like this one uh one of my best friends when we were in college she had this phase where she you know she's an infp and she had this phase where she was like uh you know all over indulging in her own emotions and um uh, and i was the typical enabler the typical enabler i remember we were going um, outside and her hair got wet and it made like this weird thing and she was so upset we were you know 21 or something both completely clueless in comparison to now and um, and she got so upset and oh I can that feels so bad here and what I did was well okay then let's go home let's go home it's no big deal come on it's like if you feel bad we'll do that um, not, you know it's not it's obvious that that was the wrong thing to do, that I should have told her, listen, it's no big deal, it's just your hair, you'll calm down. Um, and it would, have, it would have helped her a lot more, because she didn't have the capacity to balance her own emotions, and a boyfriend now actually does that really well, and they have this great, you know, you know balancing relationship. Um, but this is what we have to do, we have to look at it from a... Um, from an outside perspective sometimes and understand well is this what I'm doing really what's fair like if I would watch those two people and you know I watch the left person is Wences and the other person is somebody else and I watch them and I see that this dynamic would I think that's okay and no I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't think that if you break something for example that you should feel that bad about it so it's your conscious um, you have to make a conscious effort to change that and to say, well, no, logically speaking, this is not right. Logically speaking, this is not fair. And and then make that switch and really tell that person, listen, I'm sorry, okay, I broke your cup, I'll buy you a new one, let's move on, for example. This is, you know, or, or you know, act like this, how I acted toward my friend. And... You know, it sounds really easy. Why didn't I tell her something like, well, uh, you know, let's go and it's no big deal. Or why didn't I tell my friend, well, come on, it's no big deal. I couldn't because it felt so intense for me what she was feeling. I was absorbing her emotions to such an extent that it felt so extremely. So we've learned, you know, long run, it's, you know, we have to create a balance. But what is difficult is making that switch because... You have to, while you feel that other person's emotions so intensely, nonetheless say, sorry, not doing this anymore. And this is painful because this is when you really feel like a bad person because you feel the, you feel the pain so intensely, what you're creating in the other person, that person actually really might feel that intensely about it, but you know, we have to be the ones who say, okay, I'm not a bad person. It might, I might feel like a bad person, but this is what has to be done. The more you do that, the more you create a boundary like this, the other people know where they stop. They know they can feel themselves more and can really see themselves in contrast to others and really balance themselves out as well. So if you're getting in a situation where you know you feel bad about things that you know, other people will tell you, why do you feel even feel bad about it? Look at it from a third party perception and really make sure that you make it a point to do what would you, you would recommend to somebody who's outside of the situation. Be strong, because this is all about strength. It's so difficult. Um, and always tell yourself, I'm not a bad person because I do this. I'm not a bad person. I need to do this now. I need to balance this. 
uh, we both will feel better and uh, just do it and it's 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 like ripping off a band-aid you feel like ah oh, I, I killed that person the first time you do it like I've, I've done this but the more and more you'll see that it won't crush that person they will feel pain in the beginning but they will learn that they went too far and they won't do it again and the more and more they will get balance on their own and the more and more you will get balance on their own on your own so if you have questions about this topic or comments, I'm really looking forward to uh, your input. Just uh, post it below um, in the comment section. Um, like the video if you like it, subscribe. And if you want to know more about what I'm doing all the time, um, yeah, follow me on Snapchat. It's just Wences. Okay. Thank you for watching and uh, talk to you soon. Bye. If you decide, okay, I can't do this anymore, I need to express yourself, which is the right thing. And you have those 10 people around you who give you need to never be loving and good anymore. And it's not only this how other people react to me, but how am I going?